something critical. Some having a critical spirit or some company or some army and trusting your love with all your heart, pray, read the word, daily bread, every day, and the maturity of your character will grow and you will be and you will know the anointing upon your life. That when you see people, you speak to people, there's an anointing that changes people for the rest of their life. 2008. This guy's name is Nelson. That's a bird. That's a bird. 2008. What you proceed? Annex 2. No, module 19. Work line. The work line. Do you remember? The testimony. Your testimony. Every one of you has a testimony. Amen. That could change people. Your testimony is not for you. Your testimony is to give some money. By the blood of the Lamb and the words of your testimony. See, the devil wants to shut your mouth, put you in a corner, and then you stand on your head. Yeah. <laughs> you, you think Pastor Burger looks stupid? You guys come on Sunday. Pastor Burger is standing on his head in the middle of the church. Yeah. <laughs> Unfinished process. Remember the words. Go back to Alex, um, Acts chapter 20. Dialogue. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. Church, remember the words. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwell among us today. Sunday, the 29th. God's word. will never return before. Everything he says shall come to pass. And they will change God's plan. What we read earlier, we read earlier in, in Ecclesiastics that he knows the meaning. Amen? Amen? You know already, your mother gave birth, there's time. <laughs> Boom. And when you were born, God knows the name of your life. The process. It's a process, church. It's a process. I believe it is a process. We gotta guide people in our families and all of their process. You're part of the answer and the blueprint of the ingredients that made the word faith. A catalyst of that word faith is the uniqueness of who God is. Faith. And somebody we cannot see. Uh, we see the evidence of your life. We see the evidence in your life. And it's a process. So don't be don't be critical or have a critical spirit church. Be not a be understanding. Remember the word, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. We still up, we live to you. We all in a process. We all going through the process. So don't be weary in what you're going through. Because when God done. You're going to look so beautiful, so unique, so blessed, and anointed, and highly favored by God. How are you going to know that? God will show you the fruits of your character. How God will show you that? 2008, I got a KCP, I said, listen, I'm going to tell you, 2008, there is a miracle of your testimony. I'll change you for the rest of my life. That's a great, I seen you in my other prison, and when he was doing sign dancing, is it possible what I remember every time I met you there is an anointing on your Amen. Are you hearing me, church? Amen. You have an anointing on your life. Walk around as a child of the king. Don't be hypocritical. Don't have a critical spirit. But the spirit of authority, of an anointing over your life. How can you know that? How can you how can you feed off of that? Read your Bible. It will give you spiritual nourishment and spiritual strength on a daily basis. Not every month. Not once a year. Amen. 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 We need to go through the process. And then when we come out of our oven, we'll be fully cooked. <laughs> right? Yeah. You want to be half cooked, jump, you will taste. You want to be fully cooked. Every head bow. Can we stand, please, as a blessing in the prayer? Can we all stand?
and acknowledging our needs of a Savior. Lord Jesus, remove any critical spirits that blinds us. Let your grace and your beauty to continue revealing unto us your specific wisdom and spiritual discernment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And that you would see the process and the power and the uniqueness of prayer because we serve a great God that has a plan of change. Come on, somebody. God's plan of change is a process of learning through the Word of God that will build you up. Amen. Hallelujah. We just stand and do some praise and worship before you all leave. Amen, church. Let uh, the church hear what the Spirit has to say. Father, we pray for grace and mercy. Is everybody going home? Lord, we pray for a blessed week. Lord, we pray for a shield of protection for the as they go in here and when they're coming out, when they go going out and when they're coming back. Father God, bless them physically, spiritually, mentally. Father God, bless our families and love us there and far. Father God, we pray for a, a traveling grace and mercy as everyone leaves home back to their families. And Lord, we ask that you bless the homeless as we go out to do the whole this, this morning, or this afternoon. God, to bless the people with food, and with the word of God, and with prayer. Father, go before us, don't do our enemies, shut them out of the line. We feel like a little word that was said against this church, you shall condemn. But this is the heritage of the servants of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we are anointed and appointed to do your will on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Father, for your love. Bless everyone coming as you need. Father, we ask all of this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. When your Lord has taught us this prayer, 